YouTube. It's your boy J Baby, Mr. Major Man, Mr. Bible for Jesus from the Big Easy here to welcome y'all back to the showroom. And today, got a review for y'all. But before I do that, I like y'all to hit that like button, hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. And also follow me on all my social media platforms, which will be linked in the description below. And lo and behold, I got an early review for y'all. I hit these on the Nike sneakers. Uh, what it was the um what it was the early access the uh reserve access they uh been dropping in a few people's nike account and i thought for some reason my account must be on a ghost band list for some reason because i usually never hit on those kind of uh reservations but lo and behold your boy wind up getting these right here and as y'all can see let's get into it we have the nike sportswear box right here let's get into the details of it as y'all can see it is the nike dunk low sp style code is da14469 uh, color code is 200 and the colorway is veneer deep purple retail on these was 100 dollars uh like i said i got these through the nike sneakers app and going and getting to this regular nike paper i know i know i know you're saying why did it come in a regular nike sportswear box i'll explain that in the review Ooh, these are nice Ooh, i hope y'all seeing this on camera bro but these is nice 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 all right Ooh, man damn these are gorgeous Bam! The Nike Dunk Low SP uh, Veneer. I know them as the Nike Dunk. Uh, what is this? Uh, Pro B's. Um, wasn't the SB at that time. But um, this is what we consider a Jap. This is technically a Japanese exclusive shoe uh, from the early 2000s. Now, uh, my first dunk that i've ever had was i don't think it had an official name but it was a it was a white like a royal blue and yellow dunk and you were pretty much that was like the most gr dunk you could possibly order back in 2000 got that out of east bay but enough about that let's go and get into the shoe as y'all can see we have the nike dunk low in the veneer colorway this is part of a pack a uh, japan exclusive pack also along with the sambas and also the uh the plums as well this is another version of it but as y'all can see we have this beautiful 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 crafted dunk colorway in this nice smooth suede uh these are the obscure colors that they usually use on like especially uh dunks like around that time because not a lot of dunks is being made in america they were being made overseas but let's go ahead and get into the shoe as y'all can see we have that nike dunk bottom on there in that deep purple and that's a very gorgeous vibrant purple if y'all can see this in the camera we have a white midsole and that leads up to this suede upper which is comprised of this green and i believe the veneer is the brown part as y'all can see right here no actually the veneer i think is the veneer is actually the green give me a second I was right the veneer is the brown but as y'all can see we have this veneer brown color on here as well and we also have a set of purple laces and we have a purple swoosh company in that as well in that suede we have this green suede up here as well we have the standard dunk tongue which is very very thin i know people are probably going to be asking about the padded tongue like the sbs usually come this is not an sb model this is a pro b or if you want to say a basic dunk then you can say that but on the inside we have this lime green insole uh we also have the nike done in purple with a green tag we have the standard licensing and, and agreements on the back of the tongue as well and let's go ahead let me get this insole if it's not glued because usually these be glued heavy on the bottom and i was right and you have a standard nike insole as well Throw that back in there uh nothing too major out the ordinary with the shoe uh, i wish i could do it on foot for y'all but unfortunately this is not my size they did sell out 
uh my size by the time i did get into the access so i got me a size eight and a half hopefully i could trade up for that most likely i will be able to do that oh and also there's nike on the insole in purple done that deep purple as well uh but for my personal opinion this is a very 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 nice colorway um i'm happy they're going back to some of the older uh dunk models and i mean like despite what people are saying about like the dunk resurgence and everything that's transpired with this with this uh particular model right here like the dunk actually had some very 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 fire colorways like in the early 2000s all the way up until about 20 uh 2009 but um uh, like in my personal opinion like i said i definitely think this is a must have colorway especially if you had the plum colorway as well this is a nice compliment to go with that um kind of reminds me of the skunk colorway as well for the uh for the high this is definitely a nice little piece to have if you don't have that colorway as well because it has a lot of the same features and everything of that shoe other than the uh other than the um the zoom unit on the insole of the shoe but uh yeah definitely definitely a nice cop like i said wish i had my size bro if i had that size 11 or 10 and a half i think we'll be in the money but uh let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this shoe man this in my personal opinion is definitely definitely a must grab especially if you're a dunk collector for the most part but um man bro like dunks have been at nike sb has been knocking it out of the park and uh i also wanted to bring this shoe in there too because this is a jordan sb uh pretty much made with the same quality same material same type of soft suede on these same thing but uh like i said people used to generally get this confused with a jordan one low but uh as y'all can see the differences on there slight differences on these shoes but i will do a comparison video between the dunk and the joy ones so pe people could pretty much see how the evolution of the shoes uh took place because like i said you have the the mid 2000 jordan one low you have the 85 cut low and you have the new modern jordan one low which is basically the same as the uh mid 2000 lows and then you have these Jordan Low OG SB, uh, SBs as well. So like I said, I will be giving you a detailed overview, comparison, breakdown of all that stuff regarding these shoes right here. But let me know in the comment section below what y'all think about this. Is it a cop? Is it a pass? Are you getting tired of the dunk craze? Do you wish these just die off? Should they throw these back into the vault? What is y'all opinion on it? But let me know in the comment section below. I engage with everybody and I'm on the road to 1K. I'm doing a giveaway. As soon as I hit my 800, I will be doing a giveaway. And then I will be doing a $100 giveaway once I reach my 1000 mark. So if you're already a subscriber and you're watching this, share these videos, get more people involved and we will get this show on the road. And as always, I deeply appreciate everybody. And as always, stay true, stay fly, stay blessed. I am JC Baby. We are in the showroom and I am out. You did.